Singapore employers who want to hire skilled foreign labour will soon face tighter rules designed to give locals a fair crack at the opportunities. Minimum salary requirements have been raised across the board, especially for those in finance. And it's the first time a sector has been singled out. The government says discriminating against locals is unacceptable and warns errant employers may face punitive action. The changes are expected to help companies take on higher quality foreign manpower while ensuring a stronger Singaporean core. The minimum qualifying salary for all new employment pass applicants, who are usually more skilled, will be raised from $3,900 to $4,500 starting next week. The requirement for older, more experienced candidates will remain at around double the amount for the youngest applicant. The financial services sector will have to meet even tougher requirements from December. Those applying should draw at least $5,000. For S-Pass or mid-skilled applicants, they must have a minimum salary of $2,500 from October. That's an increase of $100. The new rules have been outlined by Manpower Minister Joseph Intio. It is not a call to employers to raise the salaries of their foreign employees. That's not the case at all. It is to recognise that in this environment, we would like the employers to be more selective and a way to nudge them to be more selective is to raise the salary requirements. For the very first time for financial services, we have decided to set it even higher. And that really is to recognise the different salary norms in financial services, as well as the hiring capacity in financial services continuing to remain strong. And quite a reflection of the interest also and availability of locals that can do the jobs within financial services sector. The Monetary Authority of Singapore says it supports the move. It says Singaporeans have continued to fill the vast majority of the 1,500 financial services jobs created amid the current crisis. It says that while job creation could remain muted into next year, the financial sector is well positioned to be an important source of opportunities for Singaporeans in the years ahead. Under the new rules, employers must also show that they have fairly considered locals when filling positions. And they will have to advertise the jobs for at least 28 days, double the current minimum duration, before they can apply for EPs or S-passes. That's designed to ensure that local job seekers have enough time to apply and for them to be seriously considered. This will kick in from October. Employers suspected of being biased against locals will be put on a watch list. Their EP and S-pass applications will also be scrutinised more closely. 1,200 employers have been subjected to this since 2016 and 3,200 EP applications have been withdrawn or withheld. And over the same period, companies on the watch list have hired over 4,800 Singaporean PMETs.